What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new episode of the Rise of the Zwartskelben. And if you've liked this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because that really helps me out. And um, first of all, sorry for being away such a long time. I needed some time for myself. Figure things out. Um, not been playing FM over the weekend. So I'm just bringing you this now. We're not going to play against Werder Bremen today. And after that, we will probably play uh, the Leipzig game and the Bayern game, which I will bring you tomorrow and Thursday. And after that, we will have a three day gap in which I'll try and prep everything to be ready for next Monday's episode when we will start a new series which all heard of because, uh, which you've all heard of now uh, team of today nothing really changed uh, Zagadou is playing same goes for Hummels Schultz is playing because uh, Guerrero got injured and isn't fit to play yet anyone else who is interesting to name no, not really so here we go Submit the team, please, and let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, and um, yeah, let's get ready for this. See if we can finally beat a team because it's it's been a time, been been been, been a little while. We uh, we've we've dropped until not until we've dropped into third. Shut up. Just, just kick off, please. And it's been really a horrendous time playing with this Dortmund save. It came to the point where I wasn't even sure I was going to finish it. Which I'll show you after the game. As we can now see that Freiburg scored against Schalke 04, which is good for us. Not sure, sure why they were showing us the uh, Werder Bremen, but sure, we've got a highlight. Toprak clears though. Zagadou picks up. Going to Schultz. Witzel back to Schultz. He tried to cross one in, but it obviously didn't work Ask, just show me my formation please as Moewald for Werder Bremen takes a free kick whips one in, Burnic is there and he goes close but ultimately misses out and now we have to deal with a. I'm gonna get rid of this visualizer soon. Manier with the throw in. Can he reach someone? No. Augustine clears. Reiner goes after it as the game is being absolutely horrendous. With rendering Haaland, Witzel, Reiner. Ooh, but Jelkovic gets clears. R Rashica now going forward, being trilled by Hummels, who isn't the fastest defender here Rashia, he what's he gonna do crosses one in but goes into the side netting Velovic to Bernicic forwards towards well shoots thank you very much Zagadou now Brandt going forward I can't really see this is Brandt on it again though crossing one forward Reinhard is there and ultimately it doesn't work because he gets the ball very easily get rid of this fish I want I wanted to grab the stats mate Rashiga goes after a long pass though Helmos intercepts Mignet picked it up also I'm gonna get this short short Ugh. Sorted out before next Monday. Don't worry about that. Brandt. But nope. Pavlenka. 
kept the ball again. Well, that was this point. Uh, body language. Oh, I meant, uh, uh, this is what I miss. I just wanted to see how many shots we had. Just basically what we have on the left side, but then more in depth, as you could get with some um, some of the uh, the other ones last year. Haaland now going forward though, plays the ball into Brandt, who's also injured. Can he do something? He shoots, but Pavlenka captures it easily. Brandt, Mike, you've been absolutely doing wonders. You're going to get substituted off uh, in the second half. Mowat with a corner kick now. Can Zakadu intercept? No, but Thomas clears the ball. Gives it to Hamels, who's going a bit forward, out towards Brandt, down into the center, plays it into Schultz, both going forward now. Schultz got his afterburners on, like a fighter jet, being tackled by Selassie, picked the ball up anyway, crosses one in, on the clears, Reina picked it up, and oh my god, this is horrendous. Brandt almost manages to score. Absolutely wonderful, thank you very much. Shields with the throw in to Brand. Witzel now. Royce crosses one in. Haaland's there, but gets intercepted by Moisander again. Witzel now picked it up out towards Meunier. What's he going to do? He shoots it. Oh my God. God, he scored an absolutely beautiful goal. Get you some of that. That is what we like to see. That is what we want to see. Absolutely wonderfully done by Thomas Meunier. Royce there, crosses it in. Moise on the clears. Witzel then picked it up, plays it, plays it towards Meunier, who just banged that one into the bottom side corner. Bottom side right corner of the goal, absolutely wonderfully done, mate. I'm very proud of you. You've done wonderful stuff. As we are going into the dressing room right now. And what we're gonna say, you're doing well, but I know you're capable of being even better. You are in the bat, but I believe you can still improve. You are in the bat, but I can still believe you can improve. And with that being said, we're going out of the dressing room and gonna start the second half of the match, if it will let me, because it's been really doing weird stuff this game. I haven't had this in all the of the other games that I've played. As Pavlenka now plays it to, to Velkovic, Toprak, Augustin, forward towards Rashidka. Rashisha, I don't know how to pronounce it. And we forgot to substitute Brand, I just saw. Rashika, oh mate, this is going too fast for me. Rashika now. Crossed through one in, but the bounces of Roy. Sancho picked it up, going forward to, no, sideways to Meunier. Sancho picked it up again, though. Crosses one forward to No Man's Land, where Pavlenka. Picked it up. Hummels clears. Royce picked it up. Witzel now to Meunier. To Sancho. As this has been going really, really weird. Sancho now. Crossed one in. Moise on the clears in the end. Because it bounces off the, 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 the crossbar. And Hummels picked it up. As this has been going on for so weird. We're going to. I don't even know how to change it, but it doesn't really matter because we score with a corner kick. And let me see that in the replay, please, because I wasn't paying attention, obvious. Here we go. Royce crossed one in beautifully to Haaland, who just slots it home. Well done, mate. Which means we are back into second position now. Good, good, good.
is I do think now we are going to go out to the tactics screen. Switch Royce and Brandt. Not Royce and Brandt, Sancho and Brandt. And bring on Torgan Hazard. Confirm that change as Pavlenka. Picked up a loose shot. As we're gonna shout some demand more demanding. Ignore for Kevin. Well, ignore that because um well let's be let's be honest. We're not gonna after the season it's gonna end for me at the Dortmund safe. Whitzel with a throw, not a throw in, a cross to Haaland, but it was picked up by Pavlenka, who banged one out, tries to reach Rashika, who gets past Hummels miraculously, who shoots and then just sends it about two, three meters wide. As Freiburg are beating Schalke 5-1, to one, and... Well, I, I was going to say I haven't seen that in a long, long time, but I got beaten 7-3 by uh, Köln. So, yeah, not really my pl place to commentate about it. As Augustin with the throw in to Eckstein. Augustin Bunic. Back to Eckstein, but Haaland intercepts that weak ass pass. What's Haaland going to do? Cross one into Hazard. Back to Haaland. To Royce, who shoots, but it gets blocked by Eckstein, and Schultz picked up the loose crossing. Witzel to Royce to Schultz, who shoots and almost scores there. That was absolutely beautifully done by Nico Schultz. As we've got four minutes of extra time. Are you insane? What for are you giving four minutes? As Zagadou clears, Roy's going after it. Moving forward towards Haaland. Beautifully done. Haaland, what can he do? He lobs one over and scores number 26 of the season. What a beautiful goal that was. It was made by Roy's there. You can see here, Royce picked it up, getting pressed by multiple players, and Haaland keeps his calm, lobs it over Pavlenka, and scores a wonderful goal. Absolutely beautifully done, my boys. As luckily now, we've got another ball, well, not another ball, another win under the belt, which I'm very happy with. Boys, thank you very much for this. We really needed this. Outstretched arms. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Continue. And let's see how oh, we've got to deal with the media now, don't we? As we are back into second after Gladbach only managed a 2-1 win over Eintracht Frankfurt. As I think... That let me have a look. Bayern will still need to play, but they will undoubtedly win, meaning they will be crowned champions once again. You can see here Stuttgart, we lost 3 0 against them, and this is the defeat I want to talk to you about, which was absolutely horrendous. It was a 7 3 defeat against FC Köln, and I don't even know what happened here. They scored after one minute and then after 14 minutes, 40 minutes, 45, 49, 54 and 80. And it was absolutely horrendous. It was a horrendous match. We were coming back up to 2-2 and then they scored another one. Right after that, we scored another one. So it was 3-3 and then they managed to score just before half time, making it 4-3 after only 45 minutes being played and then they managed to score in another three goals and I don't even know what to say 
absolutely horrendous how this has been going the last few days um, and that's hopefully you'll understand why I was in the mood for any of them this weekend because I was really pissed off first off we started of course with those Schalke and Copenhagen games then losing against Bayern then getting knocked out in the Euro Cup because of those bloody away goals managing a few wins against Hertha and Armenia Bielefeld which I was particularly happy about and then getting absolutely trashed by Köln in which at that point I just saved and just went just closed the game and went to do something else because I couldn't look at it but for now we are back we're gonna play two more games of course we'll bring you Leipzig tomorrow and Bayer Leverkusen on Thursday and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye